Hey guys, this is uh, Fly Guy RC Eric here with you. I want to talk to y'all about uh, what you should know when upgrading your firmware on the Blade 200 QX to the 3D capable Blade 200 QX. We have a Blade 200 QX here. Um, first things first, I'd like to cover. You need to get this little dongle if you don't already have it. I've been told that it comes in some packages. I did not see it in mine. It's the BLH. 7840 USB multi rotor programmer cable. It comes with uh, several of these little connector heads. And the connector heads you're going to end up with uh, looks like a servo connector uh, like this. And that will plug into this port right here underneath your helicopter. Um, just so you know, uh, this little symbol, uh, th this one right here. That's the symbol for signal, which will be the orange wire. I don't know if you can see that there, the orange wire. So it will go on there on the, with your helicopter upside down, it'll be on the left side orange, just like that. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> so orange will be to the left, this being the front, and this in the back of the helicopter. Um, some things I found uh, interesting once I installed the dongle to my computer and then I because you get all the software from the website from Blade I got the software or the zip file it had it had a, a program that runs the um, firmware upgrade change uh, the actual firmware uh, file itself and an Adobe how-to file on, on how to do this um, once you have installed the dongle, you plug it in right to the bottom of your helicopter with the orange to the left side. And uh, then once you've got the program up and running, you click uh, the option where it tells you to wait for the device and then uh, upgrade. And then you plug in your battery on your 200QX. And what that will do is bring it into the bind mode and then upgrade it. I got a, a weird error message at the end of mine. It said um, upgrade timeout. It said it said unit did not respond in a timely manner. It didn't matter. So don't worry about that if you get that that message. It should be fine. Now we did it like two or three times because what they don't tell you is in reality when you bind your 200 QX right to your radio the first time you get three modes which are the original modes it came with before the upgrade which are green blue red uh, low stability which is green high stability which is blue and then advanced mode which is red so once you unplug the battery after you've got your firmware update complete you're gonna go on and there will be uh, you'll unplug the battery and that battery when you plug it back in, you'll still see green, blue, and red on your trend or uh, on your as your modes. So, in essence, what it means is you have to two, have two different um, bind processes to get the quadcopter to do its uh, advanced 3D capabilities. So, in reality, it's like they put a second firmware inside the helicopter, and depending on how you bind to it, is dependent on whether or not. Uh, you're going to be getting that 3D capability. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Let me get my transmitter out here. I'll show you real quick what that mode, what it requires, just to show you with your thumbs. So obviously, when you bind normally, you you know you turn off your radio or whatever the steps are. You turn off your radio and then you you hold the switch right, and then you you turn it back on and let go and it says bind right. Well, in order to unlock the, the 3D capability modes, or the white, purple, and yellow, the ones that are able to fly your helicopter upside down, you need to hold this down and to the left, the bind trigger up, and then turn on your radio, and then wait for about, I'd say about 10 or 15 seconds till you hear some tones, and then you can release these, and it should bound, bind in the first color that will come up here, is white it'll be white right here on the center right here right that'll be white which is stability mode now an interesting fact about stability mode is before 50 percent 
on the throttle once you have it it starts up the same way as before you know you bring your sticks to the bottom center uh, once you start up in in uh, the 3d capable modes on white your throttle that the props will spin but it will not lift off until after 50 percent on the stick so right there is where you're going to start seeing the helicopter try or the quadcopter try to take off so that right there and beyond right and so what this mode is to is giving you is the ability to get off the ground right once you're in that mode you can now change over to purple uh, by well, my, my DX6i, I, I literally flitch, uh, flip this uh, F mode switch up. And what purple mode does is it puts it in 3D stagility mode. So once I move my right stick 80% uh, in any direction, it'll flip. The helicopter will start to flip over. And if I stop upside down, then I move this negative below the 50% mark. And that will tell it to climb or descend upside down so you've got negative flying your 50 percent marker is zero throttle so no prop spinning and then you've got your positive normal flying modes in these ranges and then the cool thing about purple stagility is if you're learning how to fly inverted and you get scared just let go of the stick and it should provided you've got negative power in it should just level out it will level out and uh, the next mode is yellow uh, yellow 3d acrobatic mode whatever you want to have you that mode is the last 3d capable mode it is the most advanced um, I do fly RC helicopters as well and uh, or uh, collective pitch and it is the most uh, comparable to collective pitch flying um, there again you've got your negative pitch so when you're inverted this would be going this way would make your helicopter climb inverted and going this way inverted would make your helicopter descend and then when you're right side up, you've got ascend and then descend. Um, the gyros do not stabilize if you let go of this stick uh, in the, the yellow 3D acrobatic no gyros uh, mode. So it is 3D capable. However, don't expect to let go and chicken it out. But if you keep your finger up here on this switch right here, you can always chicken out by flipping the switch and just leaving the throttle where it's at and it should uh, self-level and then you just catch catch it with the throttle. So very cool, very cool. Uh, the one important thing is to remember you only have three modes depending on how you bind it. If you bind it normally where you just hold the switch and then you turn the radio on, you're going to get the green, blue, red original um, modes and if you bind it uh, with the throttle stick down to the left uh, you will get the advanced 3d stability modes so it's very important to remember okay number two uh, my local LHS they do not have um, they don't have the new 3d props in I literally just got this thing and I'm the first person over here to to do the 3d capability these semi-symmetrical not fully symmetrical props do not hang it and hold it upside down you can you can get upside down and kind of descend a little bit and then burp it back forward if you want to do a really slow looking tick tock but it will not hang it upside down and climb they just they just don't have enough attack so just be cognizant of that uh, you do need to get the new 3d capable props so yeah that's pretty much what I've got on that all right well let's see if we can take it outside and see if you guys can see some video I'll try and do a, a upside down and then right side up as best as I can with these less than favorable props for this type of flying okay guys we're back I have uh, the quadcopter in the white 3d mode which is just regular stability and there's no throttle below 50 percent I'm uh, gonna put the battery in real quick all right so you see it is white now once I change the next mode is purple which is stagility you see that and then this yellow right here is advanced mode. So 
you can take off in white. I haven't tried the others and I don't recommend it. So I'm going to try and do a quick flip for you here and there and see what happens. So we're airborne with above 50% of throttle. Try one more time. Negative, positive. There we go, much better. So that is the 3D capable 200QX doing its thing. Negative, positive. There we go. All right, that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hope that cleared up some questions. In 3D capable mode. A lot of fun helicopter. I really do enjoy it. Negative, positive. Ooh, lost some altitude on that one.